Filmes apresenta mais uma super produção. Pousada do Sandy em Paraty. Os cinco estrelas do litoral norte. Suítes e apartamentos com ar-condicionado. Captain's Bar, pub inglês. Restaurante Che Catalino Internacional. Piscina, sauna seca e a vapor. Sala de jogos. Enfim, tudo o que você necessita para seus fins de semana ou férias cinco estrelas. Passeios de escuna e barco pelas Ilhas Encantadas. Conheça também a cidade histórica de Paraty, com sua arquitetura colonial portuguesa do século XVIII e as autênticas igrejas da Era do Ouro. Pousada do Sandy, Paraty. Largo do Rosário, número 1. Reservas pelos telefones 712100 e 71236. I'm from British Intelligence. Come and meet the others. Let's do some good. Let's have some fun. No, isn't that jolly? Perhaps you can tell us what this letter's all about. Katerina Oliver. Katya? What more Katya? Never flirted with one, never proposed to one, never even married one. So, she wrote you a letter signed, Your Loving K, and you tell me you don't know her. Oh, now you're getting it, old boy. <laughs> Is that scotch over there? The last thing Barley Blair wanted was to be a hero. Is that Katya? That's her. You remember her now? No such luck. She visited the British Council's audio fair in Moscow. If you love peace, take this to England to Mr. Scott Blair. The only thing Katya Arlova wanted was to change the world. It is better that you smile. You can't think of any reason why a Russian book editor called Katya Oliver should risk her neck to send you a manuscript? Who said, risk her neck? The Russia House. Hello, you're Katya, of course. How did you recognize me, Mr. Valley? Well, Nicky said you were Russia's answer to the Venus de Milo. They met by design. We're off. How long are you staying in Moscow, please, Mr. Pali? Seven days. Mrs. Katya. Are you a spy? Answer up. You are nobody's spy? <laughs> not even ours? I don't bite. I don't lie. Have dinner with me. It is not convenient. Will you call me then? Perhaps. When? They risk their lives. If it's not safe for me, then it's not safe for you. And then they risk their hearts. So good, Bobby. Billy, it's so good to see you. I love you. All my failings were preparations for meeting you. It's like nothing I've ever known. It's unselfish love. Grown-up love. You know it is. Bali, please. It's mature. Absolute. It's thrilling love. Metro Goldwyn Mayer presents Sean Connery. I'm with you. Michelle Pfeiffer. My life now only has room for truth. Roy Scheider. Acts like a man who's going his own way. James Fox. Say behave like someone who didn't need to be careful. John Mahoney. It's come to Jesus time for both sides now. And Klaus Maria Brandauer. What is the matter? Are you afraid? Well, of course I'm bloody afraid. This Christmas, they're watching us. John McRae's haunting love story comes to the screen. I love you. And I won't let you down. The Russia House. We only have a few days before the media gets a hold of this. Then all hell will break loose. Michael Dudikoff. David Bradley. Together, for the first time, American Ninja 4, The Annihilation. When the enemy is ruthless, 
This is not a game. Those were ninja. Merciless. Cut the slime down like Doug, you understand? And holds the world hostage. It has enough power to blow New York off the face of the earth. It takes more than courage. I got a bad feeling about this, Sean. You need the power of an American ninja. If you can get us to the Dragon Fort, you may have a chance. Twice the speed. Twice the skill. Four times as deadly. Michael Dudikoff, David Bradley, American Ninja 4, The Annihilation. Nossas reservas.
Sharp here. Tomorrow? Uh, no, no, no. No, Joe, that's all right. I'll take the first plane out. Something has got to be done now, or this whole thing will blow up in our face. I read your report, but our ideal situation is still $50 million and two years away. We did design this prison to be finished, didn't we? Didn't we? Gentlemen, please. With a push from this board, we could start construction on an effective, humane, and safe facility. Workable not only for the inmates and the staff, but for our entire community. I'm in a hell of a fight right now to get last year's appropriation approved. Prison reform just isn't on the governor's re-election platform. Which leaves us where? Reopening the old Wyoming State Penitentiary at Rawlins. You can't be serious. That institution has been closed since 68. Ethan Sharp will be the warden in charge. Sharp? My God, Joe, the man is a dinosaur. All he knows is chain gangs and Tommy guns. Is that your solution?
Not a pleasant place to spend one's life, is it, Miss Walker? You must be Warden Sharp. There's an awful lot of work to be done here in preparation for the inmates. I've got 300 men being transferred over here tomorrow. They'll take care of the cleanup and the repair work. You don't think we should consider a postponement? I mean, at least until some improvements can be made. I'm gonna be candid with you, Miss Walker. I know you represent the prison board, and I appreciate your input. But I will not have it interfere with our primary purpose. Which is what? Punishing criminals, keeping them away from the public at large. All the rest, therapy sessions, trade skills, so much went addressing. The board has instructed me to assist you in any way I can, and that means from getting things organized around here to setting up therapy sessions, trade skills, and all those other window dressings. Well, I always appreciate a different point of view, and a woman's will be most interesting. Warden Sharp, I'm here to help for the next few weeks. Now, how much is certainly up to you. However, I do have a job to do, and I intend to do it. My office is always open. Then I'll see you there in the morning. It's been a pleasure. Come on, you guys. Let's go.
You got a choice here. Yeah? You can either step off this bus or be dragged off. It's up to you. Just cost you your mail and your visiting privileges for six months. Oh, oh, Captain Horton, let's get them searched and processed before the next group gets here. Collins, move them out. Collins are two, silently. Collins are two, I'll stay right here. Come on. You two just bought yourself six months in the hole. Oh. Get them off the yard! Move You owe me, baby. Still one hot ass son of a bitch. religion now, man. All right, get moving. Hey, come on. What? Come on, come on. <coughs> come on, man, they let me have it upstate. Here, it's contraband. Yeah, what is it? Your asshole, get moving. Get the head off my ass! Hey, 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 hey. Hey, look, man, you're making a big mistake. All I did was get on the goddamn bus like they told me. Hey, man, what's with the swamp lake around here, man? Hey, I don't do good places like this, you know. I don't think I got to do good here, Wait, man. Let me out of here, man. I didn't do nothing. Okay, okay. Come on, man. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, no, no, we got hurt. They said you were some kind of celebrity or something. Hey, uh, Joe Lazaro's the name. But my friends call me Lasagna. All right. Okay. Yeah, I heard you could take anything on four wheels, man. Fly it away to heaven. Well, don't believe everything you hear. Hi, kid. I'm Rhino. You and me is gonna be so mates. Just think of me as one of your roomies in college. Only closer. And everything you gotta know, I'll teach you. Hey, man. This is where the bottom of the damn world drops out. Hey, man. That can be bad for you. 
get off. If you know what I mean. I'll take the top. I'll take the top. Look, man. I don't even belong here. I was just trying to visit my Uncle Angelo in Phoenix, you know, and I blew my friend Retread. So I'm getting myself a new set of rubber off this pickup truck in this guy's driveway, right? So I fucked up. The guy sees me, but he goes nuts. Comes after me with a pistol and a German Shepherd dog. So, uh, what did you do? What did I do? What could I do? What did I do? Grab the gun and shot the son of a bitch and his crazy dog. Cops grab it just as I was getting the last tire off the truck. This shit never would happen in New York. Probably not. So I figured, I'm stuck here, right? So I might as well learn a trade or something, you know, like welding. What do you think? Man, I've been doing time 13 fucking years. What did I ever learn how to do? Was cut my meat with my spoon and call my friend. My best friend. Motherfucker. Yeah. I love this guy, don't you? I love this guy. All in Gainesville in 49. You ever been to Florida? Nah. Yeah, I never saw the beach. Ten years in Kansas. saw the Rawls play a game. This your first aid rap? Lockdown. Lockdown. Yeah, I thought so. You got the face of a lifer, though. Do yourself a favor, car thief. Make this your last stretch. Thanks for the advice. Closing A block. Close A block. for the entire prison. Sure. <laughs> you don't have to blow my head off. I'm sorry, Carl. I haven't been able to. Had a tough time sleeping lately. Everything quiet on the block? Yeah, just like it always is on the first night. Yes. First few days are always the quietest. They haven't had a chance to form clicks. 
They can be managed when they're disorganized. Well, I'll stay on top of them. Yes. Why don't you get some rest? Thank you, Carl. A lot of work ahead of us. Yeah. A lot of work. A lot of work. What the hell's that? What? The key you were drawing. It's a key, right? Maybe. For this place? Might be. Oh, shit. How do you know? I looked. You looked. I thought boosting cars was your thing. Well, a car ain't nothing but a series of locks. Hold of the lock, easier it is. And this place is old. Yeah. All right, let's move it! Tier one, report to the tool shed. Tier one, line up, report to the tool shed. We don't have anybody to dole out water during the day. That's your detail, Rhino. Sign this. All right. Sounds good to me, sir. Kids with me, right? Sure. Yeah. Fun kid. You know how to use that thing? You come with me. You too. Smells like a tomb in here. I'm not far off. Warden once just broken through. What's on the other side? Execution chamber. Let me know when you're finished. Okay, Captain. Hey, Johnson. Or maybe the boogeyman. You ain't scared, are you, sir? Get to work. Yes, sir. Catherine Walker from the State Board. Sharp here. Catherine Walker at the main gate. Oh, it's all right. Send her in.
Kana. Bad spirit. Grab hold of me. Yeah, I did. No. Something else. What? I shook its hand. Here, help this man. God, what's happening around here? I shook its hand. What? Warden wanted a door knocked down. What'd you guys use, an atom bomb? Warden Sharp wandered into the old execution chamber. We had to knock through a wall. Must have hit a gas main or something. The execution chamber. It's not as though we don't have 10 zillion other things to do around here. Maybe he's got special plans for us. All right, here's a smoke. I could use a smoke, Hirsch. Hirsch? I got some smokes for you, buddy. Some nice, long nicotine smokes. See, one a day will carry me through the week. Yeah, well, hell of a lot of good that does me, baby. The hell with you, rabbit. You hear me? I want you to suffer. You're a piece of brown garbage. I got 12 inches of brown garbage all for you. Why don't you come over here and get it? Ah, and the matches. You gotta have matches, Rabbit, or you can't light up. Yeah, it's nothing like a good old smoke. Hey, baby, you light up yet? Get the light out of my eyes! Oh, put the light in my face! Get the shit out of my eyes! My eyes burn! What's wrong in there, Hershey? You want... Hey, cut that shit out! You hear me? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong in there? Uh, Rabbit! Rabbit, my hands, man! Oh, shit! What's wrong? What's happening in there? Oh, shit! My hand, rabbits! The floor! Something's going on with the floor!
Stupidity never has impressed me. Why should a short-term con risk his life for vermin like a rabbit? I'll guarantee you one thing. This uh, <coughs> stun of yours won't cut you any play with the parole board. Hand me my towel, please. It's just fucked, isn't it? Yeah. You ain't on any love letters? No. Nope. No? Well, when we got mail privileges back, I'm gonna get my sister Angie to send you a picture. Well, don't go in any trouble on my account. Hey, what trouble? I mean, you're a celebrity, ain't you? Look around. Everybody's checking us out. I know. I'm serious. Good-looking Italian girl in your arms. We'll double when I get out. Maybe. Maybe. Yo! You're a fucking fool. I'm one of the smartest people on this yard. This is a private conversation, Wop. <laughs> what you did the other day took a lot of heart. And that's why I need to talk to you, hero. I need a couple men with heart to run my poker tables, make a few collections. Now, you can make a nice piece of change at this. And the fringe band fence aren't bad, neither. Because nights around here can be short or long. And you, you got a choice on how you want to spend your time in the dark. Yeah, well, I always manage to sleep like a baby. Look here, hero. You start messing in my business, you start thinking this shit's gonna get you any good. And I'll tear your fucking asshole out. You hear me? If you need time to think about it, I'll give you time. So what do you think? Tell you something. I always make it a real point to mind my own business. Maybe you ought to try that for a while. Start right now. <coughs> you give me back my ball, I'll give you yours. Get out of here. Hey, buddy boy. How's my main man? Is everybody sucking up to you because you hold my ass out of there? <laughs> right? Right. They got big plans for you and me, baby. Big. Do you mind? Do you mind? Yeah, I mind. Well, then keep your mouth shut on this wop. No, 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 I'm saying that because this is on the hush-hush. I ain't giving this place another chance. I'm getting the fuck out of here tonight. Why don't you uh, wait till everything uh, cools down? No, 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 no. Tonight. Hey, yeah, Rabbit! You're gonna get everybody in a lot of trouble. Man. Hey, how you doing? Hey, fuck everybody else. You can come with me if you want, maybe you. But these guys, they're on their own. And once I'm gone, that's it. So, you in or out? Good luck. 
Hey, I didn't mean that. Miss Walker, so glad I caught you. I never received a copy of your accident report. Accident? Well, you are filing a report regarding the prisoner's death. Standard procedure for the warden to check details for accuracy before submission to the board. Well, I'm sure you'll find it extremely accurate. I was there. I'll make you a copy in the morning. Well, I'd like to digest this for a couple of days. Thank you, Miss Walker. Good night. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You're dead. <laughs> Creases. It's me. I'm sorry, kid. You know how you think it was? Somebody I haven't seen in a very long time. Sharp. Sir, the power's down all over the prison. I want a special count of lockdown right away. Yes, sir. Get some light up there. Help these guys quiet down the prisoners. And don't leave it 
that is it. Don't do it, Rabbit. I know you're never gonna leave yeah. this place. Yeah. You watch me, what? baby. Hey. Put that in a plate and pray for me, okay? Zorro, Joseph. Yo. Adrian. You in there, Riddle? What's wrong, Cap? You can't see me in the dark. Jesus, Burton. I haven't gone no place. And you ain't either. You notice that, Burke? Sir. You ever need a hand again? You just let me know. in your bed. I ought to drag his lazy butt out of the sack after all the trouble he caused me. Why don't you let him sleep? You can kick his ass in the yard tomorrow. He can count on it. Help the rabbit find his way home.
I just rabbit did it last night, huh? Hey, you guys hear about the escape? Hey, man, you want to say that again? I don't think the warden heard you. You don't even know if he got out yet. No. I'd feel it if he made it. He didn't. Not bad for winter dressings, eh, Miss Walker? What makes you so sure, Frank? Because I'm smart, baby. <laughs> hey! care if you have to turn this place inside out. But I want a weapon, I want a motive. And I want a full confession from a prisoner by nightfall. Dismiss. Kramer, escort Miss Walker to her car. Warden Sharp, you're not gonna shut me out again. Miss Walker, I don't think this is a safe place for you during lockdown. This is the second inmate death, and it is imperative that I get all the details. Now, you and I both have a responsibility to the board to report any incident. Miss Walker, I don't need you to remind me of my responsibilities as warden. Now, you and the board will be apprised of the results of my investigation. That's all. We'll see if that's all, warden. I want you to assemble these inmates on the yard at 8 o'clock tonight with their mattresses. You don't have cells, you have cages. One of you could have saved the rest considerable discomfort. He still can if you'll step forward and admit his guilt.
Captain Horton! Sir! Strip him down for a body search. Oh, come on, Lord. All right, you heard the warning. Strip down here, Skippy. Do it! Since this man won't step forward, it's up to you to cough him up. And you'll stay out here until you do. I'll be in my office if anybody has anything to say. Hello? Oh, Joe, thank God you called back. You're damn right there's a problem. I know you never received an accident report from Sharp, and you never will. Yes, it happened just like I said. Joe, the man is out of control. I think we should shut down the prison immediately. I know what I'm asking, Joe, but that kind of proof could take months. You, the prisoners are not safe. Yeah. Yeah, right. Bye. You want to eat leather for breakfast, or you want to get up? Get up. Then why don't you do it? Why don't you move your foot, sir? Are we having fun? This nigger broke formation. You made your point. You got a problem? Just fine, Kevin. Just fine. Been a long night. Go get some coffee.
Don't even try it, Captain. I'll spoil that uniform of yours, I promise. Look at the guns, Croesus. I don't give a fuck. I won't see Ethan Sharp right now. Come on, Croesus. Huh? Yeah. Can't do it, son. Hey, Ethan! I missed you at the party last night. I've been meaning to talk to you about transferring me out of here. I know that look, Ethan. You're as scared as I am. Ever since you set eyes on this boy here, yeah? now everything coming down on your ass. Let me shoot him! Hey, Creases, man. Don't shoot him. Man, a man would be crazy to stay in this place. And one thing I ain't, and that's crazy. Oh, oh, oh. No, you got it! Oh. Oh. to the hospital, Ethan! I watched that man kill someone! Get him off the yard! Don't, don't let me die behind these walls. Promise, promise! You get a fucking ambulance. Red take that man, send him to the hole. Hey, take it easy! Muscle it. Start total lockdown. Till further notice, nobody comes or goes. This prison is sealed tight.
with a beauty so unexpected, it has been honored by Tiffany and company with this gold medal. Never before has Tiffany given an award to any automobile. Never until Mustang. And yet the price? An unexpected $2,368 FOB Detroit. And we're not fooling about that price. Because for $2,368, you get features that cost extra in many other cars. Luxurious but introducing the unexpected, the new Ford Mustang. Mustang, a brilliant new kind of car. A new generation of Ford. Mustang. Just hanging around this slaughterhouse waiting for our turn. Yeah. And I'm thinking maybe Sharp was the one that got rabbit chopped too. No, baby. Sharp ain't the man we should be worried about. Shango tells me there's a Connor, a bad spirit trapped in this prison. And it's waiting to take us out one by one. Nah, man. Sharp don't give a fuck about no Connor. Whatever the hell that is. I'm telling you, baby, the only way any of us can save ass is if I gone to the gunner, find out what the gunner wants. How you gonna keep Sharp away from Burke with that mystic bullshit? I think we gotta get us some real help. Baby, if it don't satisfy Connor, it won't matter. I know it's against policy, but I want all your key men armed. I want the entire prison population in full restraints. You're to meet violence with violence. I take full responsibility. And you're sure the year is 1964? Yeah, that I'm sure of. Hey, I remember this. Bad business up at the prison. One convict killed another one, and he went to trial for it. He was the last convict executed at the old pen. Kosi Sikele Le Shango, God of Fire, Thunder, and Lightning, the Elephant, the Father of Ibiji.
I summon the creature of darkness by the power of darkness. I summon the creature of hatred by the power of hatred. I summon the creature of waste by the rights of waste. I summon the creature of pain by the power of pain. I summon thee from the abode of darkness. Come forth and show yourself. Show yourself to me. Show yourself to me. Shaka! Shaka! Shaka!
Just calm down, baby. Hey, hey! You're one of us now, baby. You leave it with us. Just put the gun down, okay? Justin, put the fucking gun down. We're not gonna hurt you, man. Just put the gun down, okay? Listen to me, Justin. bringing you back like this. I knew you'd come for me, Charlie. Now I don't have to be afraid anymore. You frightened the wrong man? Jesus, Ethan. Ethan, Charlie's here. He come to take us both for what we did to him. You stole my life. I watched you kill a man and then helped you to send another man to his death for it. You had 10 easy years in Chino. Another light stretch in Leavenworth. Who do you think's been looking after you all of these years? I lived up to my side of the bargain. sent Charlie over. We set ourselves up for this night. Charles Forsyth is dead. Charlie's gonna get you, Ethan. Why are you doing this to me, Graces? I gotta get out of here. Ethan, let me finish up on the outside. Oh. I can't risk it, Greases. You're delirious. Oh, my. You're losing a lot of blood. Take a nice long walk up to see your friend. You ain't got far to walk. Come on, we're getting out of here. You can't make shit, kid. You take a move, you psychotic son of a bitch. And you're gonna help me do it. My man will cut you to pieces before you even get to the yard. 
He's not taking out of here. Get us out of here. Bart! Let him go. Meet me. I'll blow you away. Crazy. Please don't let me die behind these walls. Please. Now, who are you going to believe? Him or us? Let's go. Shut up!
Get ready! Get ready!
dos povos da floresta Nos fala de amor e paixão As águas, os bichos, as praias, os peixes Que as lendas fizeram canção E desta janela o mundo é tão verde O ar é a maior emoção O beijo, a fa branca nos campos E a luz e a o jacaré vem te vir E o meu coração voa neste avião Ecoturismo, consciência de preservação de nossas reservas Parigui, Parigui, 